So in this video, what we're going to discuss is about the even order moments. Even order moments of the normal distribution. So even order moment is denoted by mu 2r, which is equal to expectation of x minus mu raised to 2r. So this is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu whole part 2r into f of x dx. This is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu raised to 2r 1 by sigma root to 2 by a raised to minus x minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square dx. Which is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 by integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu whole raised to 2r into e raised to minus x minus 2 x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square dx. And what we are going to do here is we are going to substitute. So instead of x minus mu by sigma, we are going to substitute z. So instead of x minus mu, we can write sigma z. And on taking derivation on both, the, both sides, we will get dx is equal to sigma dz. So this is equal to 1 by sigma root 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity. This can be x minus mu can be written as sigma z whole raised to 2r into e raised to minus z square by 2 d z into sigma. So this sigma and this sigma gets cancelled and what is left is sigma raised to 2r divided by root 2 pi into integral minus infinity to infinity z raised to 2r into e raised to minus z square by 2 dz. This function is an even function so we can write this integral from minus infinity to infinity as 2 into sigma 2 raised to sigma raised to 2r root 2 pi into integral 0 to infinity z raised to 2r into e raised to minus z square by 2 dz. So I can write this as 2 into integral 0 to infinity this function. Now what I am going to do is I am going to resubstitute. So what I am going to do is I am going to take z square by 2 is equal to u. So z square is taken as u. Therefore, I can take z square is equal to 2u. Therefore, 2z dz is equal to 2d. And from there, I will get dz is equal to du divided by root 2u du divided by root 2u so i'm going to put this substitution into my function so what i have is sigma raised to 2r divided by root 2 pi integrating from 0 to infinity that's all the same so Sigma square can be written as 2u. So 2u raised to r because it is sigma raised to 2r. So I can consider as sigma square raised to r. So I can write 2u raised to r here. So it is 2u raised to r into e raised to minus u. And instead of dz, I can write it as du divided by root 2u du divided by root 2u. So what I am going to do is what I have is sigma raised to 2r divided by root 2 pi 
integrating from 0 to infinity. So, I am going to arrange that 2 u raised to r divided by root 2 u. That can be written as 2 u raised to r minus 1 by 2 into e raised to minus u d. So, this is equal to 2 can be taken outside, isn't it? So, 2 raised to r minus 1 by 2 can be taken outside. I have sigma raised to 2r. Sigma raised to 2r divided by root 2 pi divided by root 2 pi integrating 0 to infinity u raised to r minus 1 by 2 so they have a 2 here right there is a 2 there was a 2 so into 2 into e raised to minus u d so this is how mistakes happen we miss some words or some constants and the whole answer goes wrong. So this is 2 raised to r sigma raised to 2r divided by root pi integral 0 to infinity u raised to r plus 1 by 2 minus 1 a raised to minus u. I had written in this form to get it as a gamma function. I know 0 to infinity e raised to minus mx into x raised to p minus 1 dx can be written as gamma p divided by m raised to p where gamma p is equal to p minus 1 factorial. So to get it in this form of p minus 1, I had written r minus 1 by 2 as r plus 1 by 2 minus 1. So this is equal to 2 raised to r into sigma raised to 2r divided by root pi into this is a gamma function form, isn't it? So I can write it as r plus 1 by 2 gamma r plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 raised to r plus 1 by 2. So 1 raised to r plus 1 by 2 will be 1 itself. So this is 2 raised to r sigma raised to 2r divided by root pi into gamma r plus 1 by 2. Now what we are going to do is we are going to open this gamma function. I have already told gamma p is equal to p minus 1 factorial and p minus 1 factorial is equal to p minus 1 into p minus 2 etc up to 1, 2 into 1, isn't it? So what we are going to do is into gamma 1. So what we are going to do here is we are going to open this gamma r plus 1 by 2. So 2 raised to r into sigma raised to 2r into gamma r plus 1 by 2 can be written as r plus 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial divided by root pi is there. So this is equal to 2 raised to r into sigma raised to 2r divided by root pi into r minus 1 by 2 into r minus 3 by 2 into etc up to 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2. So what I am going to do now is I am going to keep this as itself. 2 raised to r into sigma raised to 2r divided by root pi into 
to r minus 1 divided by 2 x is 2 r minus 3 divided by 2 etc 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 and gamma 1 by 2 is equal to root pi so I'm going to replace it as root pi that is the result gamma 1 by 2 is equal to pi so this pi and this gets cancelled and here are how many r's 1 2 etc r there are r 2's so I can write it as this is equal to 2 raised to r into sigma raised to 2 r divided by 2 raised to r into 2 r minus 1 2 r minus 3 etc into 3 into and this and this get cancelled. So this is the this is the expression for the even order moment. U two R is equal to one into three into etc. up to two R minus three into two R minus one into sigma raised to two R.